Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. <laughs> and today we're going to be blasting the mighty Pro Fanatica, the curling flame of blasphemy on Hell's Headbanger Records. And we're going to be discussing Pro Fanatica a little bit as well. Angel with cock. So fucking evil. Paul Ledney and John Gelso do not fuck around when it comes to writing some of the heaviest, most blasphemous U.S. black metal in the game. Yes, that demon is giving that angel a rimmer. These things happen, I suppose, but... Probably my second favorite, if not my favorite, Pro Fanatica record, The Curling Flame of Blasphemy. <clears throat> Sadly, I made a mistake a couple weeks ago. And that was... Now, alright, this goes out to everybody that's waiting for a CD to be reviewed. I spilled seed... <laughs> I spilled soda on the top part of my boombox that happens to be the CD player. It no longer works. I apologize. Now, if you're like, but you used to just listen to CDs in the car. We sold our car two nights ago. So, for a little bit, buying a new CD player is nowhere near a top priority. Like, seriously, I really don't go out of my way to listen to CDs too much unless I'm going in the car. But now that the car is not here anymore, it's like, fuck! I have, like, a pile of CDs I have to review. And I, I, I can't right now. Like, I mean, what I'm going to be reviewing, I can because I've listened to this for years and I just realized oh fuck I never reviewed this record and I'll get back to this other CD right here because it is a favorite of mine and it's a favorite of Pro Fanatica's but first I want to talk about their debut full length on Hell's Headbangers from 2007 this is Profanatica Profanitus Di Dominata on Hell's Headbanger Records. Purchased for $7.99. 10 tracks of total blasphemous U.S. black metal. Paul Ledney and John Gelso absolutely kill it on their debut record here just absolutely just total blasphemous filth this is so fucking good and i think pro fanatica in general are one of those bands that they keep it filthy they keep it evil and they keep it heavy when it comes to black metal there's not too many bands with not only ties to early incantation as Paul Ledney used to do drums for incantation and then I think he did drums or vocals I, I'm not sure off the top of my head actually but Paul was like wanting to take incantation in a more like black metal route I think he said he wanted things to be more black. It's in an old interview video that actually has a clip of it in Gummo. But it's like them pissing in like a cup to throw at the Statue of Mary on stage. It's fucking wild. But like, anyway, but Paul was in Incantation during the Onward to Golgotha demo days. And was kind of like, it's not evil enough. So... Incantation had a song called Profanation, which in turn, you know, helped Paul come up with the name 
Pro Fanatica. So here we are, all these years later, and Pro Fanatica still absolutely fucking slaying lambs in the black metal scene. And for a debut, not only did Pro Fanatica develop their own signature sound, which it sounds literally like a swarm of insects flying to the false savior's rotting carcass and just devouring his fucking flesh. And yes, that goat's penis is fucking disgustingly massive. <laughs> and this is just w such an evil, blasphemous picture. <laughs> Based upon the menstrual blood of the virgin. I, I, I fucking love Pro Fanatica's over the top just use of blasphemy. I, it's fucking sick. It's seriously sick in like more ways than just like cool sick. I mean, when one of your albums called Thy Kingdom Come. You know what you're getting into, and that's some disgusting blasphemy from the East Coast. But my favorite Pro Fanatica record, which I had on vinyl in my hands, but was like, ah, I have the CD already, not thinking we were gonna sell the fucking car and I was going to spill soda in my CD player, but. My personal favorite Pro Fanatica record is Disgusting Blasphemies Against God. This is so fucking good. Seriously, if I can recommend any Pro Fanatica record, it would have to be Disgusting Blasphemies Against God. This is just so fucking, just again, sick. Look at that shit. I, I, I just love how evil this stuff is. And this is a 2010 release. But like I was saying though, here on their debut, Profanatus Di Dominata, they took a big ass break after 1992 and this was their comeback. A debut full length record on Hell's Headbangers and it's a fucking banger. First off, I love how that says liar instead of INRI. All the art's done by uh, Paul Ledney. Paul's fucking sick, and so's John. Like, just two fucking sickos making some of the most blasphemous, heavy, and just unsettling tunes in the game right now. And pretty much ever, in my opinion. Because you, you'll rarely hear a black metal band that's this heavy. Like, straight up. The Curling Flame of Blasphemy is such a massive step up. When it comes to just the overall atmosphere and vibe that Pro Fanatica developed throughout the years. And we're going all the way back to the early 90s and whatnot. And it's just super sick hearing a band, you know, progress so much. And then, you know, their demos are great. But their demos leading up, you know, to this right here, Pro Fanatis Di Domata is just fucking sick. And this is the original 2007 release. This was reissued in 2017 with 23 tracks on it. I think it has a lot of live tracks from this time period. Like, from when these songs were originally like written and stuff, I think they might have been like playing some of these tracks live before they broke up in 1992, before getting back together and creating this fucking beast and playing live and being one of those bands that can, you know, not do anything for a year and then have a random show booked in, like, Poland, sell that fucker out, like, two nights in a row, and, like, 
I think stuff like that's sick. It goes to show just, you know, how powerful something like this is. And Pro Fanatica are one of those black metal bands that have legit withstood trends and the fucking test of time. Like, this is still just as evil as it was when it first came out. It's still fucking one of the heaviest black metal releases I've ever fucking heard. It's borderline death metal. I mean, seriously, I know a lot of people argue that Pro Fanatica is a death metal band. It's like, dude, it says like USBM on all of their stuff. U.S. Black Metal. Like, seriously, on everything, it says... U.S.B.M. United States Black Metal. But, I'm pretty sure that Kingdom Come has it somewhere. I'm sure. Uh, here's a good picture of Paul and John, though. There's Paul. There's John. And I like how they kept, like, you know, Paul's the Mayhemic Slaughterer of the Heavens. And John is the Goat Mask Ejaculate upon the Altar of All Deemed Holy. I think it's sick that they stuck to those names and whatnot throughout the years. And same thing with their logo, Angel with Cock. I think it's just like such a sick fucking logo. And the tracks on here are just 10 of the fucking nastiest, heaviest US black metal songs you might ever hear. And like I was saying though, their their discography is fucking gnarly. Their new EP, by the way, is great. I need to snag a copy of that in the near future. But right here, Paul Ledney and John Gelso absolutely nailed Christ to the cross with Profanatus Di Dominata. Wow. Because I just love that fucking guitar and bass sound. Like, it literally feels like it was made to desecrate the heavens. It, it's just great. I, I I just love the production here in general. With, with Paul's vocals, everything about Pro Fanatica, the image, the fucking music. It's just so nasty and just evil sounding I, I I love it and I can't recommend it enough in case you're new to Pro Fanatica or you know you're just getting your feet wet with black metal this is a great fucking start especially if you hate Christianity you can't go wrong with a release like disgusting blasphemies against God and I really should have grabbed this on vinyl I'm kind of regretting not but in the future, hopefully. But, Thy Kingdom Come is probably, in my opinion, maybe their weakest release, but it's still good as shit. But, their debut album, Profanitus Di Dominata, is a fucking, in my opinion, timeless slab of blasphemous black metal from the United States of America and some of my favorite tracks on here happen yeah they have to be mocked scourged and spit upon a fallen God dethroned in heaven them who dwell in heaven pallid savior and cursed Nazarene whore great fucking tracks and we were blasting Pro Fanatica's The Curling Flame of Blasphemy on Hell's Headbangers Records. There's the good old Angel with Cock. And this is just a sick, sick fucking release right here by Paul Ledney and John Gelso, otherwise known as Pro Fanatica. US Black Metal. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey.